Hello everyone, welcome to another video. I'm Randy and this is a thread response video and it's for my good virtual friend Mike at MGK Boston and he wants us to spell summer using albums and uh, with the letters being you know the band name or the artist name and uh, he did his on the beach uh, out there and I, th I guess it's in Massachusetts and I guess the, I don't really have a beach close to me. I guess I could go down to the banks of the Missouri River and record it, but I'm, I'm gonna do it right here in the comfort of my home. It's, it's uh, not as hot as it's been, but it's been very hot here in the Midwest. But today is a little, we got a little bit of a reprieve. So let's get started spelling summer. For my S, it's gonna be the Shaladaz. And, oh, I, I wanna say something else too. I decided that I was going to spell summer and also, the artist that I'm going to use also has a song about summer on the album. I was able to do that with everyone but the E, but uh, so we'll get into it here. So this is the Shala Daz. This is their album, Love in the Wind. That's for my S. And they do have a song, Summer Breeze, which is the third song on here. And I love the hype sticker on this because that's probably the best way to describe this group. It says, the Shala Da's unique blend of gritty East Coast group harmony and psychedelic West Coast pop sounds. It sounds like a lost collaborate collaboration between the Beach Boys and the Delphonics. So I really like that. Anyway, the, the Shala Da's for my S, and there's their li the label. Okay. All right, for my U, I am going, he used you two and I'm going to as well because they got a summer song. And it's you two's The Unforgettable Fire. And their summer song is Indian Summer Sky. This is their fourth studio album and from like 1984 something like that. 1984. And nice inner sleeve, kind of a custom label there the boys. All right, so that's that's my U. So S-U-M, my first M, is going to be Joni Mitchell, and her summer song is The Hissing of Summer Lawns, which is also the title of the album. And this album came out 1975. 1975 uh, has the great tune in France, they kiss on Main Street, which is one of my favorite Joni Mitchell songs. And she was on the Asylum label here. So S-U-M-M, -M, my second M, is going to be The Morels. And they have a song on here. If I find it. Cool Summer. This is their album, Think About It. I think it was 1984. No, two, I mean, 1980. 2005, this album came out. And the Morels are a group, they're from Springfield, Missouri. And if you liked NRBQ, I think this would be right up your alley. And then for my E, I could not find an E group that also had a summer song. So I'm gonna use the group Eggs Over Easy. Uh, this is their album, Good and Cheap. And these guys are, this is a fantastic album. And this, they were kind of important in starting the pub rock scene over in Britain, even though they were an American band. And if you love uh, Graham Parker or Nick Lowe, I think these guys would be right up your alley as well. Uh, just, just a wonderful album. And they're one and only album, Eggs Over Easy. I was introduced to this group by, uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, Headley from Fat Bearded Man Talking About Records. He's got a great channel. And he did a, set, uh, a video on pub rock. And this is one of the groups he talked about. I ended up finding that record. And it's, like I said, it's very good. Oh, I guess I didn't show the label. They were on the A&M label. Uh, this is a promo copy for the Eggs Over Easy. And then for my R, S-U-M-M-E-R. My R is going to be the Rainmakers. And the summer song is going to be One More Summer, which is a great tune. Uh, the Rainmakers are a Kansas City group. This is their second album called Tornado. 
first album had a couple of hits that were, well, got a lot of airplay on MTV. This kind of had a regional hit called Snake Dance, which is very good if you want to check, check them out. Just good old time rock and roll uh, in 1986 when the MTV and uh, a lot of new wave was ruling things. It's just good old fashioned rock and roll. Bob Walkenhorst was the lead singer, main songwriter. Uh, so that's my R. Hope everyone's doing well. I'd like to see some other people participate in this and see how they spell summer. Uh, thanks, Mike, for providing the thread and hope everyone's doing well.